So, what I've decided to make here is a new um, darts board cabinet, but with a difference. So as you can see, it's one on top of the other, right? Now, the color don't matter, because they're gonna be painted white, same color as my wall, like the old one is, right? But I came up with this ingenious idea. Put two dart boards together, use a piece of wood like this, right? I lay that on that line there, like that. Right, and with the angle, I can put a strip of LEDs all the way around, facing towards the dartboard, because I just thought it'd be cool to do it. But yeah, so what I've had to do at the minute is take the back out of this one and cut some of the plates. As you can see here, look, where I've cut the plates off there. There you go. And I cut the plate off there. And the plates off the bottom. So the metal plates still say stay around here. So it'll keep it all nice and strong. But yeah. And now I'm just gotta figure out how to attach that. I'm thinking of bending a few of these straight and just coming straight off here. And then uh, see where I go from there. So, if you look here now, I've managed to get these all secured up. But I made them a bit stronger by drilling holes right through there and then putting a short screw into here. Did it on the four sides. It's made it nice and strong now and stable. Now I'm putting this edging, this beading in, look. This bead in here. And as you can see, it's got a groove on one side. So I put them in flush like that, all the way round. And then all along here, on that edge, on the inside edge, I will put LEDs so they'll all be facing the board and not out. So I'm, uh, yeah, just getting all that glued in. And the whole thing's going to be painted white at the end, so it's going to look quite cool. So, I've got all the beading in now. And uh, this is how this is going to go like that all the way round and that'll go all the way round the beading so when you stand back you won't actually see it all you'll see is the dartboard lit up hopefully that's what I'm hoping if not I'll have to get an extra bit of beading to perhaps stick on this just to make a higher lip just to stop any light bleed uh, I can also go round twice I can go down in there down in that piece and on the piece what's going to direct it towards the board but yeah it's coming on i got to paint it white first got to do a bit of sanding down look, on all the marks I made and the marks that were on there for the other doors and stuff like that but yeah it's coming on it's coming on so got a first couple of coats of paint on it now as you see it look a lot better and uh, also I strip the stuff off the doors so i'm going to put these on and these are going to hold all my darts i can hold six sets in this block six sets in that block up there but yeah all to be painted white of course yeah so it's coming on so it's coming on now i put all the leds in look that's, I think it was about four meters, maybe just under. Just cut a little piece off. But yeah, so that's in all the way up round it. Got it all the way in there. It's just that five volt LED. And the plan is to use a power pack. Just plonk a power pack down there. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's plug it in and test it. I haven't tested it yet. Ready? There you go. Wow. That looks bright. Let me turn these shed lights off. Oh, the sun's coming in there. But I'll try and get back as far as I can so you can see. But yeah, quite happy with that. Be interesting to see how much it will light the dartboard up. You know, to see if it's good enough 
but if it ain't hey ho i gave it a try i did buy some of this stuff as well this is i forgot you call it now but it's that other other stuff you know that you make signs out of but it's not as bright as these normal leds so uh yeah worth a try the doors are coming on it's the inside of the doors i bought some dart holders that i'm going to place all the way up through both sides so everything will be in that case that's my plan but yeah and that's the original reason why i put two dartboard dartboard cases together was to fit all my darts on the inside of the doors but i just thought do you know what it looked cool with leads in or leds or whatever you want to call them but yeah anyway let's crack on with it so here you go it's up on the wall it's the latest so far and as you can see lights are pretty good anyway got a bit more painting to do and then we'll come back to it so here you go all the painting of the main case is done I've got the doors to finish but it's uh, looking quite good I just put this target board in there for now but yeah so here's what she's like when it's all lit up oh hang on I'll turn the power on I'll get there in a minute tiny little thing but there you go as you can see if I turn this light off as well and that's what it's like in the dark pretty happy with that anyway let's crack on and finish her so here it is all finished I just got a sort out where I'm gonna put this wire here and that's it but I put a few darts on the insides of the doors so as you can see when it's closed so there you go all looks good I'll show you what it's like when I'm all set up and playing but yeah quite happy with it and there you go and it lights the board up lovely. I thought it might work. It was worth a go. Thought I'd just give it a try. That's my old system over there with all those lights. Look. But yeah, really, really happy with this. So I'll be sticking with this. Oh, and look what board I'm using. Hmm. There's going to be a video about that. Because I was quite shocked with this board. But I've... Uh, I probably will be sticking with that board. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this short video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, and let others know. Share it about. Anyway, hope this helps you make your own. I'll catch you again in the next one. Stay safe out there. And get out and ride.